energy. Everything is energy. We are literally swimming in a sea of energy. We experience ourselves as a single droplet of focus and tend to forget that we are actually more like the entire ocean. Except that we're also not. <laughs> because oceans and droplets are just words that we have made up. We are the water above, below, and within the word itself. My name is Nathan Lindsay, host of Vibes and Frequencies, and welcome to episode two in our Akash series. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> in this episode, we are going to explore the energy and the feeling of the Akash, as this is going to be a powerful preface to resonate with before even attempting here to connect to the Akashic records. So we're going to be exploring the feeling and the energy of the Akash. I'm also going to share in this episode some of my personal experiences in connection with this space um, as to further that energy uh, emphasis. And uh, then we're also going to discuss what the Akash is and what the Akash is not. <laughs> And it seems silly to, to say that we might need an episode like this, um, but there's a lot of misinformation out there that is actually leading a lot of people further and further away from the true magic of the Akashic Records and uh, one who finds themselves tapped into it. So, this being said, please take a moment to scroll below and subscribe to Vibes and Frequencies so that you do not miss, miss the future episodes in our Akash series, such as our next upcoming episode on how to actually connect to the Akash. The energy of the Akash is an energy of feeling, of being, not an energy of description, meaning that the words falling from my lips will actually lead you further and further away from what the Akash really is. The Akash is a dimension of experience in which one feels infinite expansion. There are no walls and you are absolutely free. Imagine being so free that you are even free from the word itself. Freedom. Freedom doesn't even exist here. That's how boundless this dimension truly is. It's incredible. <laughs> it, it, it is really an incredible energy to find yourself just fully caked in and it drips off of you and it's, it's powerful. <laughs> it's powerful. The Akash is nothingness. The Akash is emptiness. It's absolute emptiness. And that's exactly why everything and anything, as in all information, even exists here. It is only in emptiness that absolute fullness can be realized. It is only in stillness and silence that all sound can be heard. Take these two pieces of paper as example. This is a practical example that we'll present here. Now, this piece of paper is surrounded in noise and physical expression. There's so much happening here. Now, consider that what I want to create on this piece of paper, now I don't have much room to do so. Anything I draw or create on this paper is going to require me to either utilize the noise and images and scribbles that are already here, or it's going to require me to just draw over them and pretend they're not there, but the noise is still there. It still is influencing the new creation. Not to mention that there's not actually a whole lot of space for me to draw new ideas and inspirations I might have, right? So now take this blank sheet of paper as an example. This is a beautiful representative for the Akashic Records dimension. <laughs> it's blank, meaning that anything could be created here. There's infinite potential, infinite space. It is uninfluenced by any momentum, any previous drawings. There's no noise here. It's absolutely free. It's blank, empty space. And blank, empty space could be anything. 
blank space could be anything. That is the gift of emptiness. That is the gift of silence and stillness, is that both nothing exists here, and that is exactly why everything exists here, because it is infinite potential. All ideas, all thought forms, all vibration, all energy is a possibility, and therefore, it simply is. And the blank sheet of paper is a beautiful representation of an example of what the energy of the Akashic Records is. It's a blank paper. It's a blank paper. And that's why all information from people who have tapped into the Akashic Records, they express that this is like a library holding all information. It's extremely ironic because it's actually the exact opposite. <laughs> it is nothingness. But that's also why you're able to tap into anything there is because you have the free space essentially as a way that we can verbalize it to do so. So hopefully that example is helpful. <laughs> so consider for a moment all of the momentum that you feel in your human experience in your human life. Consider all of the momentum. External factors are coming in and influencing you. They're creating feelings, emotions, energies, expressions that are causing you to move in certain directions. Consider also the internal momentum that you feel in the human experience. Many of us feel that there is a force within us, a purpose, a reason, some kind of mission, something that is playing out. There is a force of energy that moves you. There's always a momentum in the human experience. Consider that momentum and the feeling of it. Now, turning the page back to the Akashic Records, the Akashic Records is a space of zero momentum. There is zero momentum here. There is no external influence. There's not even any internal influence. It is just a space of emptiness, of nothingness, of stillness, of silence, infinite potential. That is the energy that the Akash is. It is influenced by nothing, and that is why it is infinite potential. It could be anything, because there is no influence. It is absolute freedom. It's absolute freedom. Now, if you have not yet watched the first episode in this, in this Akash series, which is an explanation of what the Akash actually is, what is its influence in our day-to-day -day lives, and how can we increase the value in our lives by knowing it, we highly, highly recommend that you go and watch that episode as it is the best representation of what the Akashic Records is that you will be able to find on the internet and it will further to help you to tap into this energy. So highly encouraged to watch that video as it will increase the awareness and the energy that is the representation here. So that's tagged below for you. experience of the Akashic Records is that it is not a place that we are going to. It is a sense of expansion, which tends to kind of have our egos interpreted as we are expanding outward, we're becoming bigger in this way. And yet the energy and the dimension of the Akash is an expansion, but it is an internal expansion. We aren't expanding outward in this way. We're expanding almost inward, as if we're going back in time, before you were a human, before you were anything, before you were even the idea that created you, you were an energy. An energy that, like a spark of inspiration, turned into you in this certain sense. So my experience with the Akashic Records is that it is expanding and zooming outward and seeing it all before it began this infinite intent, this infinite, infinite space of inspiration. And uh, it, it's, it's really exciting. And it's a challenge to explain. As stated, you know, the more the words come out, the further and further away from it we get. And the reason for this is because there is no reason <laughs> in the Akashic Records. Everything just is. And our language and our reality here that we manifest together, everything that we're doing, everything we're interacting with, everything we're saying is an emphasis on definition of expression, of understanding. And this just simply does not exist in the Akashic Records. Uh, and yet here we are 
on vibes and frequencies making this series anyways <laughs> good stuff good stuff so one of the most profound things that i feel in the akashic records awareness of it is that i am there but i'm not there i'm here but i'm also not and i'm doing my best to not sound like a confusing fortune cookie to stir up more confusion about this but imagine i am here in the akashic records Nathan is not. There is no sense or semblance of Nathan. Nothing has to do with me at all. At all. And yet, I am still here. My consciousness, my awareness. I am here in the Akashic Records, but I, as Nathan, am not. So when your awareness expands inward into the Akashic Records, you will not find yourself in the Akashic Records feeling as though you are Peter or Kevin or Brittany or whoever you are. You will simply be in the Akashic Records without a human meat suit, without any understanding of the human meat suit at all. There is no knowing. There is no definition. You simply are. And who you are uh, is very challenging to describe and I'm not even going to try to do that but imagine in absolute stillness where you are always the same and yet everything around you is constantly in motion and changing everything around you in this space of emptiness is constantly fluctuating and changing it's almost chaotic everything is exploding around you it's constantly changing nothing stays the same except for you you are in a constant state of sameness, of stillness, of simply being, but not as Nathan. You just simply are. It's very challenging to express, um, but uh, you know, <laughs> there you go. That's part of my experience. So what it feels like is like all I am is feeling, but even feeling doesn't exist <laughs> because feeling is truly part of our ego expression in the way that our ego interprets information. And that's not in the Akashic Records. So it feels like feeling is the best way that the ego can try to explain it. But what it really is, is being. Simply being. Just being. There is no feeling. There is no sensation. It's absolute nothingness and emptiness. And yet you are somehow still there in a certain sense. You exist, but not in the way we normally feel ourselves to exist. It's different. And in that nothingness, in that empty space, it is like there's this inspiration, this neural network that you are swimming in. And it is you. You are the neural network. And the neural network is having all of these rapidly shifting ideas that are floating around you. But you have zero attachment to any of these ideas. There's zero feeling that comes from them. And they're constantly fluctuating and changing. It feels as if there's all these infinite complexities and timelines playing out before you. And it feels like you are in all of them as if it has happened. And you're tapped into all of them. And yet still you have zero attachment to any of it. You just simply are. You are being. And somehow there's this deep, deep feeling within you of knowing, of a profound wisdom that is not really something that we experience very much on the physical plane. A profound sense of wisdom, of certainty, of absolute faith. And it's not colored by your ego. It isn't your ego mind coming in saying, oh yes, I know this for sure. That voice does not exist in the Akashic Records. You're just being. And there's this profound feeling of nothingness but everything. <laughs> Man, <laughs> it's a great place to, to have your awareness go to. I mean, it shatters the ego and shows really what true freedom is. It's incredible. So I actually wrote a few notes here that I'm just going to read directly from. Um, just to make sure that, uh, you know, this comes through. So the notes that I wrote is that I am everywhere at once, but nowhere simultaneously because physical reality does not exist here. There's no earth. 
There is no Nathan. There is no library of information. Only the ideas of these being potentially created. So that's what you're swimming in. You're not swimming in a library. You're not swimming in anything physical. It's more like you're swimming in the idea of a library before the library even exists. But it isn't even true that you're swimming in an idea. It is the energy that inspires an idea. That is what the Akash is. It's the energy that inspires an idea. That's like the next stage of dimension. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy awesome. I think that it's important we discuss what the Akashic Records is and what it isn't because there is an incredible amount of misinformation available and uh, the misinformation is actually what is the most popular that gets the most clicks and is the most exciting to the human ego and so a lot of it just buries it you know and it's leading us further and further away from the truth of the akash within us so that's what this segment is is dedicated to now the very first thing to address is past lives Many people express that the Akashic Records is a place that you go to where you receive information about your past lives. So, uh, you know, without an intention of hurting anybody's feelings, because there's no need for that, it really is not important at all, the truth is that there's no past lives in the Akash. There isn't. Because you, as yourself, your ego, your soul, which is actually part of your ego, by the way, does not exist in the Akashic Records. So how could you find yourself in the Akashic Records and start receiving information that's relevant to yourself and your soul, which is an extension of your ego, and all of these stories that you're crafting about your past and future experiences? It's just not possible. The Akash is not that space. That space where people experience their past lives and things like this, this is actually something that is created in our ego because our ego is very good at using creative imagination, which is an extension of a power that also stems from God. And so it isn't something that's wrong with us. It isn't something to be pushed away. It's just something to have awareness of. That past life experiences, what they really are is a story. Your being your true energy that you are, on an ego level, your soul is still an attachment. Your soul, your soul is still part of the ego. So the soul is a little bit higher level extension of the ego, and the soul picks up all of these different energies from the infinite experience that we truly are. Now what the soul does is interacts with the ego in this kind of sense and starts creating through the ego imaginatory experiences that may or may not have happened, but that's not important. The story is a representation of energy that you are feeling, similar to dreaming. A dream is an expression of something that isn't actually happening, quote unquote, and yet the dream is a story that your brain is playing out. It's aligning the energy that you feel and giving you a thematic representation so that your ego can understand it. So that is what past lives are. Past lives are a story that your ego is creating to help you to better understand energy that you are feeling and carrying in your true being. It's as simple as that. The Akashic Records is not a past life representation. The Akashic Records is a space of nothingness. To enter your awareness into the Akashic Records, you must transcend and step back from the ego experience. That means stepping back from the what we call the soul as well, because this is literally an extension of your ego. It's just the energy ego, really. So truthfully, there is no information that is given to us in the Akashic Records because no information actually exists there. The moment something is defined and is created into a word or sentence or some kind of sense of knowing in this way, you are no longer in the Akashic Records. You are in your own ego's imagination creating fantasy stories for ourselves, which is a great way for us to play through certain energies that we're carrying. And that is a lot of what the human experience is, us playing 
playing out this energy that we're carrying in a fantasy story that isn't even actually taking place. It's our own creation in this sense. So any information that's given to us in the Akashic Records, you actually don't come back into your human meat suit in this sense, which is it's really challenging to explain because you're not even going or coming back from anywhere. It's right here, right now. But there's no information that's given to you in the Akashic Records. It's not possible because your ego isn't in the Akashic Records in this way. It isn't processing information. There's nothing to understand. There's nothing to learn. There's nothing to gain. There are no stories in the Akashic Records. It is an empty space of nothingness and therefore infinite potential. Infinite potential. That's what it is. So there is this deep sense of certainty and knowing in the Akashic Records. And when we find ourselves with our awareness in this space, it is a profound gift in our human experience now because we are free from the stories. We suddenly find ourselves free from the stories and the fantasies and the egoic creations that we have. And now we are much more tapped into the truth of who we are, this empty space, this infinite potential, the idea before it is an idea. And it's incredible, incredible freedom. So there are no past lives. There are no things like this in the Akashic Records. Many people state that this is the case, and I have to humbly say, no, that is not the case. You know, whether these people are tapping into what is the Akashic Records or not, I truthfully don't know. But my personal experience and what I see as a symbol of what's going on here is that in the human experience, we want to package everything to be understood and then we want to monetize and sell it to each other. So packaging this up as being a place that you can go and access all the information of all your past and future lives and everything like this, it's a great way to package this and want people to buy it from you, make them want to click your videos and make them want to understand. But there is no understanding in the Akashic Records. There is no information that is given to you because you, as you know yourself, does not exist in the Akashic Records because you are free from the self. It is absolute freedom from the self. So this is my, you know, <laughs> I felt that this is important to share. Now, it's not that there's anything wrong with having past life experiences or even having the human experience. The truth is, is that once the ego illusion is shattered and we are free from the ego, we actually find ourselves still existing in the story anyways, on the physical and the soul level. But now we are free from it. There's no attachment to this story. Everything can be fluctuating and changing chaotically around you, and yet you, who you really are, this energy always stays the same in absolute stillness and silence and calmness, just like the Akashic Records. That is the liberation of the Akash. So I wanted to make that extremely clear that even though the Akashic Records is described as being a place you can go to, where that is a library where you can walk through and pull out any book about any information that exists, this is completely false. This is the ego's fantasy story about it. But the fantasy story can't exist here. It's infinite potential and a space of boundlessness. That's what the Akash is. And the more we try to understand it, the more we find ourselves sinking. Take this statement as an example. We find ourselves as a single droplet of focus in this human experience. It gives us a sense of tunnel vision, that this is who we are, that this is what's happening. But really, we are a small droplet of focus within an entire massive ocean. But we are not separate from that ocean. We're the same water within itself. It's just that we're focused on the single droplet, giving us the illusion that that is who we are. When really, we are not the droplet, nor are we the ocean, because those are just words defining. And now we've lost touch of what it actually is. The water above, below, within, and without the actual word. The water that exists. Now, as a single droplet of focus existing in a massive ocean around you, how can you be sure of whether you are 
floating? Or are you just drowning? The more I know, the more I find myself sinking. And we'll leave it at that for today's episode. So thank you so much for joining Vibes and Frequencies. This is my personal favorite series taking place here now, as this is a profound energy that has blossomed beauty and magic into my life in ways that I never could have fathomed on the human level. It's a gift. And for anybody who is excited about real depth and transformation and exploring the inner dimensions, make sure to go below, like this video, let me know to see more like this, let me know what you think, and make sure to subscribe with that bell notification so that you do not miss the next episode that is very deeply diving into how one can actually connect to the Akashic Records. So we will begin to step away now from the concept of Akash, and we will actually begin to dive in. So thank you so much. Um, once again, I'm Nathan Lindsay, and uh, yes. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys soon.